We're in Ashland, Ohio here. I thought of going on a little drive to Dollar Tree to get a few things, but then I looked at the map and I'm like, it's less than a mile away. We're walkers, we can walk. So y'all, it's Sunday afternoon right now and I have found a place to stay in Ashland at a good rate, thanks to one of my uh, seminary friends. So I am really grateful. It's a small room, but it'll do. It has a TV in it so I can catch up with my sports and cast to my from my phone or whatever I want if I want to watch YouTubers. So I'm excited. It's an hour commute, but it's cheaper, a lot cheaper than other places I would be staying that are a lot closer. Good evening, it is Dick the Eagle and we have hiked northbound from Springer Mountain, Georgia to Katahdin, Maine. And as a through hiker, we visited many hostels on trail and today I want to go through what my favorite hostels were and what I would recommend if you're considering hiking the Appalachian Trail or even just a section of it, I would definitely recommend not missing out on these hostels. First off, an honorable mention to Denny's Cabin in Connecticut in uh, Falls Village, Connecticut. It was a uh, cabin uh, uh, that is building a privy and so on and so forth. Uh, very nice, very close to trail, less than a third of a mile off trail. So really nice stop, really homey, really private, uh, great showers, laundry, everything you might think of that, need, that a hostel needs. A uh, very new hostel too, it's not on far out yet, but I'd highly recommend Denny's Cabin. Park Street Brethren Church. Maybe if I'm here on the weekends, maybe I'll swing by there one of these weeks. I didn't go anywhere this morning because I was just kind of tired and thankful to have a place where I could just stay and rest for a bit. But I might swing by there since it's so close. Winds are picking up. Look at the tree. <laughs> this is the School of the Eagles. Surrounded by pretty flowers. I just want to reflect for a moment that you never know what life's going to bring you around the bend. But it's the same as trail. On trail, I never knew what was around the next bend, but I knew that I would conquer whatever it was. Same thing in life. Whatever's around the next bend, we'll find a way to conquer it. Whether it's in a school setting, on the trail, or who else, who, who, who knows what else could, it could be. But I like that parallel. I, had, I just have to trust that whatever happens in life, we will be ready for it. And we are ready for this next chapter in our life right now, being a fourth and fifth grade math teacher, so much so that I'm super excited for it. And I encourage you in the same way. If you've gotten through humps before, and you're in a season of the unknown like right now, like I was, you are ready for it. I believe in you. Going on a beautiful evening walk now. It's after six now. So we have to start deciding where we're gonna stay for the night, right? <laughs> oh, we already know that, but Ashton's beautiful. I'm so glad we decided to walk rather than drive. I would also highly recommend Hikers Welcome Hostel. Honorable mention for that one as well. Uh, it is a very nice place with a lot of outdoor spots, good Wi-Fi, lots of beds, very popular spot to hang out before tackling the whites. So I'd highly recommend stopping there as well. Uh, as my top seven hostels. But now we'll dive into the top five. Number five is Stamina's Hostel. Stop there in uh, Front Royal, Virginia, right before Shenandoah National Park. They actually have two hostel locations. One is a town or two before uh, you get to Shenandoah National Park in Front Royal, Virginia, but they're a great spot. They have a shuttle to and from trail. They'll pick you up at basically any time, as long as you text or call a little beforehand. They were very flexible with me arriving a little bit later than I expected, and then earlier than I expected the later time to be. So they were very, very flexible in picking me up when I got to the trailhead, just called when I arrived. And they're very close to uh, downtown Front Royale, so they have a lot of food options and dining options within walking distance from the hostel. Great Wi-Fi, private rooms if you want them. Very, very friendly staff. I would highly, highly recommend Staminal's Hostel. That is number five. I just noticed this little spot in the woods here. Somebody 
obviously created it and formed it. This is kind of like what we do with our emergency shelters and wilderness survival. All right, let's move on to my fourth favorite hostel. It is Shaw's Hiker Hostel in Monson, Maine. They also are well, only three or so miles off trail, but they also have a very reliable uh, pickup. They have a pickup schedule automatically at 12, 2, 4, and 6. Just let them know when you'll be on the trail. And if you let them know you get there before, they even picked me up at like 1.30. I told them to be fine waiting for the 2 o'clock shuttle. But they picked me up at 1.30 just because just they didn't want me waiting there for very long. Very friendly staff. Everyone I talked to wanted to accommodate all my needs. They have resupply drop. They also have a full resupply store. Great Wi-Fi there. Uh, two sets of Wi-Fi, one by the store, one by the bunkhouse area. Lots of hangout spots. Very close to food where you can get at the gas station. The gas station there has, has hot food, which is terrific for coming off trail. Um, right in town by the, by the visitor center. And sometimes they even provide trail magic dinners too because they just want to feed the hikers there. So they love the hikers. There's plenty, plenty of restrooms and uh, uh, showers. So there's really never not one open, even though they can host up to like 80 hikers at a time. Uh, really highly recommend stopping by Shaw's Hiker Hostel before you go into the 100 mile wilderness in Maine. It's seven o'clock and it is not nearly as dark at seven o'clock here in Ohio as it was in Maine. Just taking a little break in this bench here, soaking in the woods. All right, it's time for number three. My third favorite hostel on the Appalachian Trail that I stopped at was Mountain Harbor Hostel in Rowan Mountain, Tennessee. They had a restaurant on site, so they had a great source for dinner, especially if you want to double dip and get two dinners. They have no issue with that. They're used to that. So great dining room on site there. And then once you get dinner and get well fed and go into the barn uh, where the bunks are, or if you really want to, you can also get a private room in the house. Both options are available to you. Uh, they have a nice table to hang out at inside, at the, in, inside the barn that anyone can hang out to till a certain time. And then it's for the uh, people in the bunkhouse, but they have bathrooms in the bunkhouse. They have spots outside. They're just beautiful along a little river there. Uh, so I highly recommend them. They also have a resupply store, can also receive resupply boxes. And best of all, they have a best breakfast on trail in the morning. It is an additional charge, it's like 12 or $13, but it's well worth it. Uh, out of all the breakfast, breakfast I had in the Appalachian Trail, that was by far the best breakfast on trail. So I highly recommend visiting Mountain Harbor Hostel in Rowan Mountain, Tennessee. I think I met North Carolina actually, because right before that Rowan Mountain Hostel is where we leave Tennessee for the last time. So, or do I mean Tennessee? I think it is Rowan Mountain, Tennessee. It's Elk Park, North Carolina, Rowan Mountain, Tennessee. We're gonna get that right. Right before that is where we leave North Carolina for the last time and then enter Tennessee until Virginia. And number two favorite hostel on the Appalachian Trail is a brand new hostel just opened this year and that is called the Knoll Hostel. It is in, it is off of Grafton Notch, Maine, but it is located in Bethel, Maine, but they give a free shuttle and it is a long shuttle. It's like a half hour shuttle to Bethel, Maine from there. And the shuttle is included in the cost. I believe it was $75, but it includes the shuttle. It includes your stay. It also includes dinner and most of the time breakfast. So they also shuttle to the store if you need to shuttle to the store for resupply. Uh, they don't take mail packages. Uh, that's the one thing they don't do, but they will shuttle you to the store to get everything that you might need to get to the store for resupply. Uh, so they also have an amazing living and hangout spots, an amazing outdoor shower. Uh, that was like one of the best showers they had on trail in the outdoor shower space there. Soaking in the sun. I'm so glad that I had the opportunity to take a whole afternoon there. Uh, very nice hosts there. Uh, they've been popular little travelers for years as well. Uh, I'd recommend taking a whole half day there if you can instead of ro ro riding in at night at the Knoll Hostel in Bethel, Maine. They literally have their whole garage set up for hikers. Uh, they have drinks available for you included in your stay. They have spots outside. They have spots downstairs. Their whole basement is converted into the hiker hostel. They only take six people 
and that keeps it feeling like a home and not like a hostel. And they're actually real beds too, which is really cool about that. And finally, my favorite hostel in the Appalachian Trail that I stopped at was the very first one. Makes a good impression when you stop there first. Who remembers the first hostel that I stopped at in the Appalachian Trail? Go. <laughs> yes. If you said the Green Dragon Hostel, you are correct. The Green Dragon Hostel in Hiawassee, Georgia is by far my favorite hostel that I stopped at in the Appalachian Trail. They had dinner, they had breakfast, they had amazing Wi-Fi, perhaps the best Wi-Fi that I've seen in the Appalachian Trail, and perhaps the best cooked dinner and breakfast as well. They fed you, they did your laundry for you as well. They were super friendly, shuttle to and from trail, Neil Gap for an additional price if you want, or Dick Street Gap uh, in Georgia. They have plenty of bunks, they have charging stations, they have plenty of other things that you might not know you need till you get there. Uh, most of them have little lights in the bunks too, little shelves in the bunks. They're just going out of their way to accommodate as many hikers as they can. Currently, I think their capacity is 10, unless they have accommodated more but since I've been there, but they were counting 10 hikers uh, and they have a great living space too. They have the dining room, which you can use to sit down inside if you don't want to be in the bunk area. And also, uh, there's a few bugs here. Uh, and also they have uh, an outside spot as well on, on the little porch area outside the main house. The hostel part is in the basement of their house. So that's really cool too, but they have a wraparound porch area and they have a spot to leave packs outside and things like that. So amazing food, amazing people. Highly recommend you check out Donna and Bill at the Green Dragon Hostel in Hiawassee, Georgia. So y'all, as the sun sets here in Ohio and I get ready for another week of work, uh, I'm just looking forward to what's to come, but I'm also looking forward to following along you hikers in the 2025 season. Hope the trail's okay for you all. I know there's been a lot of damage and I continue to pray for recovery for the Appalachian Trail and follow those updates. But I hope that many of you consider choosing whether you're watching this in 2024, 2025, or if for some reason you're watching this in 2030 down the road, preparing for your through hike, I hope that you may check out some of those lovely hostels on your way through. For now, it's been Stick the Eagle here and from the Appalachian Trail, not tonight, but spiritly from the Appalachian Trail, uh, it is Stick the Eagle and we're wishing you a happy journey ahead. And of course, remember to embrace the journey and happy trails. The highlight of my week this week was just looking around the classroom and being thankful that I was given the chance to prove myself as a teacher. I'm so looking forward to the coming days ahead and also found a place to stay in a friend's B&B uh, for now at a nice cheap rate, so that's amazing. And I also found a science curriculum for my students to use in the afternoon in addition to math, which I'm super excited about and very excited to start implementing hopefully this week. So I'm excited for that and excited for the journey ahead. So thank you for joining us here as we celebrate our Appalachian Trail through hike and move on into our next journey here on Stick the Eagles channel. Have a good night, you all. God bless you. Thanks for tuning in. And we have many more adventures to come. We'll be starting a new series soon after we finish a few more AT videos coming up in the days ahead.